we're looking for energy, passion, intelligence, optimism, um, curiosity is a big one. But what we really want to encourage is that people leave the building with um, the ability to be an independent learner and also to know their own level. That includes their vulnerabilities, but it also includes their strengths, obviously, and how they will continue in the profession with the tools that we have given them. When I arrived here, I, I couldn't have been more impressed. There was a, a meeting with uh, the head of strings, and what she said was that basically this place sort of mirrors the profession. It's what you make of it. Go wild. And I think that was an incredible sort of welcome and, and being part of the Barbican and now being here in Milton Court and having the Silk Street building, we have this incredible amount of resources sort of at our fingertips and we have actors and other musicians and you know, all of this infrastructure that enables us to, to do things, to make things happen, to make music and, and to work with our colleagues and our peers. And that was, that's sort of how it got going for me and, and I haven't really looked back since. I think what stands out about the department, it's how tailored it is towards each individual student's needs and aspirations and, and how, how close-knit the, the team of staff are and, and, you know, they can move mountains. A lot of our staff are still performing and or highly experienced pedagogues and they have tremendous tenacity and work ethoses that actually really show the students what's possible within 24 hours and they all have worked at the pinnacle of the profession and really understand on every level how you have to prepare for the future in that profession and what can be thrown at you. But um, resilience is, is incredibly important, but also bravery and courage and risk taking is something that I think is very, um, very much part of the ethos within the strings department, that people occasionally achieve things they never thought they could achieve. As far as I know, these young artists, I, 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 I'm saying young artists because they are not only students, they are already artists, many of them. They have a lot of capability to go to the, the, the larger stages. And just very recently <clears throat> happened in my class that one of my uh, really fantastic students, uh, Pablo Hernan, I uh, invited him to join uh, my project with my orchestra in Budapest and, and he came and as a guest concert master he made a great job and this was a really memorable concert. I had so many opportunities here and I had the opportunity to be all the people I want to be developing in my professional life. I could lead the orchestra many times, I could play solo and recitals many times in fantastic halls, also chamber music and here and also in Barbican. It, it was like a small preparation, slow cooking for what I really want to do. It is the first place I've ever been and it's only really the only place I know of where there's really more to do than any one of us is capable of doing. It's relatively rare I think among guitarists that that there's more demand for what we're able to do than there is supply and this is one of the rare places that's like that. We do a lot of concerts up in St Luke's as well, kind of collaborating with their scheme that brings in a lot of like the disabled children and adults. For example, I've collaborated with some of the LSO players and we've done run small workshops for young adults with Down syndrome or autism, which has been a really new experience for me. And I think that would have only happened through the kind of concerts that we've done as a department. There is so much going on in the building. Uh, choice is very available to you, but you also have to learn when to say no, and that requires you to, to know your own parameters, as it were, and what you're going to still be able to achieve within your comfort zone, and, what, um, and to trust people to push you out of your comfort zone as well. Like in the profession, if you go out there and you make things happen, you, know, you have a chance to perform and to make music, and if you don't, well, you tend to have fewer opportunities. But I think because it functions in that way, it really is a great finishing school for preparing us to sort of get out and to go and to do things out in the bigger music world. Mm -hmm.